Okay, let's proceed to the Unit 5, Tools and Implements Used in Landscape Gardening. So first, we have some axe to use on the loans and uh, different parts of our uh, landscape, even on the resorts, uh, to cut some branches, and even uh, the trees. Second is the bill hook. It is uh, to cut the bigger stems near the ground surface. For the third, uh, budding or the grafting knife. It is for both grafting and budding. It has two sharp blades to give cuts on the stock and scion and the back end uh, or the flap. Uh, so made up of plastic or brass used to lift or loosen the bark for inserting the bud. So we know already uh, what are the processes on budding and grafting plants or fruit trees. Okay, for fourth is the peak axe in which uh, it is used for light digging and loosening the soil. For fifth one, uh, we have carpet, carpenter's saw. It is to prune the bigger branches for more than 8 cm in diameter and it is especially useful in crown grafting. Next is the crowbar. So it is an iron rod of 4 to 6 feet in length with one end pointed and the other end flattened. So it is used for digging pits and moving rocks. So in your loan. Then for seven, um, digging fork. So it is to loosen the moist soil or the manure pits on, the lawn, on your loan and other parts of your uh, design for your gardening. So eight is the Dutch hoe. It is to loosen the surface soil between the rows of plants for removing small weeds. Nine is the drainage hose. So it's to make the drainage channel and to remove silt deposits in the channels. And ten is the dibbler. It is to make uh, holes on the seed beds in order to place seeds or transplant seedlings as easy uh, planting or direct planting of the plants as well. 11 is the forester's shear. This the purpose in transferring and even cutting of the you know, bigger branches of the trees. It is to prune the medium-sized branches 4 to 8 cm which are at higher height on the trees. For 12 part, um, garden hand rake is for removing stubbles and small stones leveling of nursery beds and formation of the small beds. 13 is the garden prowl or the shovel, the small shovel-like. It is for lifting more number of seedlings, easily to transfer, and it is used also for transferring, uh, transplanting type of uh, trowel. Then the grass shear, uh, to cut the outgrowth of grasses planted in the post carpet beds. It's like a pruning shear, but then it is easy to cut grasses that is uh, growing. Fifteen is the hand fork. It is for to loosen the soil in seed beds and to break the clods. If there are some clods, so it's easily removing. So to loosen the soil, remove clods, pebbles in nursery beds, and mixing of manures and fertilizer. So you need to use hand cultivator and not your hands. Okay, only. And 17 is the hatchet. It is to remove or cut down the bigger stems and broken stems. 18 is the hedge shear. It is for to prone the tender parts of garden shear and the plants. Uh, it is especially useful for trimming hedges, uh, borders, and topiary work. So it is used to design your loans if outgrowth na ang different uh, bushes ninyo. So bushes in the uh, resort in loans can be uh, pruned by the hedge shear. Then 19 is the hose pipe. It is to ir irrigate flower beds and other loans and different plants 
in the resorts and even your lawns and in your gardens as well so 20 is lawn mower so it is to cut the grasses uniformly in the lawn it is having a roller behind to pad the grass to have cushion okay 21 is the lawn sprinkler or the sprinkler or for irrigation of course to adding moisture in the plants and 22 is the pruning knife yeah, pruning it is for pruning of thicker branches and it has a curved knife then pruning shear for cutting small size branches 24 is the rotary weeder it is for cutting of grasses in lawn carpet beds and edges next is the cicature it is to prune the branches the twigs the water suckers uh, others or other small plants so bigger than uh, pruning shear the next is sickle it is for cutting grasses or some used as uh, harvesting vegetables and the side is for cutting lawn grasses and vegetables and for uh, 28 and 29 it is the spade and the shovel so that uh, that's the difference uh, from the shape of the spade in the cards uh, so that's the shape of uh, the spade and the 29 is the shovel which is the square like it is the function is to loosen the soil, prepare irrigation channels, collect the soil in heaps, and facilitate filling up of soil and manure, fill manure in the baskets. And for the 30, it is transplanting crowell. It's to leave the young seedlings along with a ball of earth for transplanting. And other, another transplanting crowell is um, having a holer, a small holer. And clicking lang then transfer then next is trenching hoe they have for light collection of the soil irrigation purposes and opening of the trenches next is the three calipers so you need to measure the trees that you need to transplant um, in your resort in your loans because some of the industries you plans to transplant even the traces to trees to uh, to save it but then um, use we use three calipers to measure the girth of trees and trunks as well so next is wheelbarrow this for the transport of manures the soil the seedlings and the garden waste and for the plant protection equipment we have backpack sprayer is for spraying nursery beds, flower beds, potted plants. Okay, it's a backpack. Second is bolo sprayer or the bolo power sprayer is used for spraying plant protection chemicals on large areas for insecticides, fungicides, and bactericides as well. Next is knapsack. So we know already that shape. No, a metal like for spraying nursery beds, flower beds, and potted plants. And for the atomizer, this uh, for long range and wider areas. This for spraying nursery beds and potted plants. Fifth is the hand sprayer. This for spraying potted plants. And sixth is the foot sprayer. So it requires two labors for operation because you need to pump and you need to uh, use your foot for the first person and the second person is using the rod for the spraying. And that's all for today. Thank you and good day.